Hello, creatures of the night. Uh, hey, uh, we've got some... I'm doing my Vanna White thing here. Some pork ribs. Uh, a couple of hours ago, I soaked them in uh, soy sauce and uh, added some of my secret sauce, the seasoning. Uh, coarse ground sea salt, black coarse ground black pepper, granulated garlic, uh, what else? Mrs. Dash, and uh, I'm sure there was something else. Paprika, and uh, some stuff I can't remember. So hopefully it will be nice and tender. Hopefully. Pour some of this extra soy sauce on here just to keep it going. And uh, probably need a little veggie oil. And last night I did some chicken. And I used the dome. I had to rotate the, the dome between the three pieces. Ah, look at that. But it really helped get that flavor. You know what else we got? We got some mesquite seasoning. It was a really good price on Amazon. I think that's where I got it. I don't know where I got it. I think Amazon. Who knows? Anyway, the dome can really help you build up some steam in there. Get you a good flavor going. I got this at medium. And uh, let's see where it takes us. Uh, take a break. Smoke them if you got them. And uh, I'll bring you back in a few minutes. And welcome back from that commercial message. Thank you to our sponsors. Uh, the, the Fertilizer Association of America and the Pork Providers Pavilion Group or something. <laughs> uh, Flipping these babies over. And uh, I've got my thermometer to make sure I don't poison anyone with raw meat. And I don't know if you can tell, that's the sun right about there. Uh, it's a foggy, cloudy day here in the mountains in paradise. Right, Baja? That's my co-host, Baja. She's not waiting for me. She's waiting for me to throw her tennis ball. Uh, I'm starting to smell good. Get some more steam action going. We'll give you another break. And uh, we'll see what happens. Hi again. I know you missed me. Didn't want to keep you hanging. Uh, figured it's a good time to. I know this obviously is far from being done. But, oh, look at that. Look at that sear. Oh my goodness, that's so pretty. Anyway, I'm just curious what kind of temperature they got going. If I can actually. Stick the probe in. Yeah. <coughs> 100, 105, 120. Wow. This one's got more meat. Uh, things are coming along nicely. Actually, quicker than I expected. Want to get minimum of, I think it's 145. 
165 maybe uh, but like 185 is is chef temperature whatever chef temperature is I'm uh, going to guess that's that's where you want it to be uh, so we'll go back to that I'll let you look at the clouds and I'll hit the pause button and hopefully not the stop button you're still here you didn't leave me you really like me uh, I really am glad you're still sticking around by the way check out that sun clouds have been moving a little bit I don't know if there's uh, I don't think any of this is smoke from the Bay Area fires but you never know so that's about 140 something this is about 130 135 160 150 40 <laughs> so it depends on where you Stick the thing. 170. Obviously, we still have a ways to go. Should we, should we flip them again? Should we flip our lids? We could even do some of this. Maybe. If we're deaf enough. Are we deaf enough? Will it make a difference? Is that a waste of time? It's a pretty pyramid. Pretty pork pyramid. Pretty pork rib pyramid. Stuff really likes to steam. Now our slide dish is veggies. I cooked a whole big thing. This is a whole big thing. Uh, yesterday I mixed fresh veggies and they were delicious. I steamed them also. I put the carrots on a little early and then added the rest, which was zucchini and squash and broccoli and cauliflower and onions and peppers and whatever else and kept it steamed with the dome. Man, so good. And we only ate half, so there's still this half a tray of veggies which will just pop in the microwave, but... And of course I seasoned them with my secret sauce, my special seasoning, and uh, uh, some of the chicken broth got on them. They came out fantastic. So uh, that's our side dish. I'm glad, I'm sure you're glad you know that. Now, I'm gonna give you a, another break. Y'all. Just look at that. The bone's just getting ready to fall off on its own. That's some, that's some good looking and smelling ribs. Uh, we're almost there. Technically, they're done. I want to give them just a little bit more. And uh, check out that sky. Uh, anyway, we'll be back in just a minute. Hi again. Uh, they're, I would say they're done, but mainly I brought you back because look at the sun. Just, just look at that. Is that gorgeous or what? Then you see up, up in the mountains, the clouds are coming and going. Uh, it's, it's actually 20 some degrees cooler than it has been 30 degrees and two three days ago it's been hot anyway uh that's all that you came for here here for is it here for for here uh look at those yummy yummy crispity crunchity yummy ribs I've turned off the griddle, and we're going to throw them on the slab and uh, go eat. Thanks for sticking with me. Thanks for watching. Thanks for drooling all over my griddle. 
Um, we'll see you next time. Bye, y'all.